Serious question, who doesn't love the taste of sweet, creamy ice cream? While some of us in the Western Hemisphere may think of a classic scoop of vanilla on a waffle cone, the first instance of ice cream was thought to have been traced back to China around 97 AD. Join us as we explore frozen treats from seven countries around the world. Come on, let's get started. First, we're heading to Thailand for Ai Tim Pad. Seem familiar? It's also known as rolled ice cream or stir-fried ice cream. They pour a liquid mixture on a freezing stainless steel plate and use knives to agitate and flatten it until it's firm just like ice cream. Toppings like cookies, cereal, cakes, and candies come sprinkled on top or mixed in. But this doesn't stop the texture from being thick and smooth. Next on the list is snow cream or snow ice from Taiwan. Ice cream is frozen into these big cylindrical blocks. A machine spins the block while shaving off the bottom layer, creating beautiful, thin, fluffy ribbons. It's a lighter, more refreshing favorite in the Philippines, Hawaii, and other parts of the U.S. Speaking of favorites, mochi ice cream has worked its way in our hearts straight from Japan. It's sort of like a tiny bonbon full of ice cream, except it doesn't get all melty in your hands when you wait too long to eat it. The outside is made from a sticky rice dough that's pounded several times before it reaches the perfect consistency. Mochi ice cream was actually first made in the 1980s, except it used rice milk instead of real ice cream. Then, in the 1990s, a company called My Mo created the mochi ice cream we all know and love. Mmm, mango, my favorite. You know, mango's actually a really traditional flavor for kulfi, an Indian-style ice cream. Kulfi is mostly popular in India, Myanmar, Bangladesh, and the Middle East. The word kulfi actually comes from the Persian word meaning covered up. Condensed milk is one of the main ingredients in kulfi, which makes the texture similar to a frozen custard. It can be served on a stick, on a plate, or in a cup. You may have seen those Instagram videos of ice cream makers tricking customers by handing them an ice cream cone then whisking it out of their hands at the last second. This ice cream is called Donderma and it's made in Turkey. It uses a natural ingredient called salad, which gives it a uniquely thick and elastic texture. In this sense, it's actually really similar to Buza, which originated 500 years ago in the Levant region around Syria, Lebanon, Iraq, Israel, and Jordan. So most people are familiar with gelato and love its super creamy texture, but few actually know about granita from Sicily. Granita is made from scraped ice and actually has a grainier texture compared to most traditional ice creams. And for those of you who wish you could eat ice cream every day, there's good news. Granita is a part of breakfast in Sicily during the summertime. Coffee-flavored granita is a popular choice for dipping brioche into. Other common flavors include almond and lemon. As we move on to our final stop on this tour, I've got to warn you, this next ice cream may be a little hypnotic. In Ecuador, they call it helados de paila. It was first created before refrigerators even existed there. Paila is the name for a large, shallow metal pan or bowl. They use these to make the ice cream, but instead of churning the ingredients, they simply spin the bowl. The agitation from the spinning, paired with the vessel of ice under the bowl, solidifies the ice cream mixture. But it doesn't stop there. There are still so many more unique takes on ice cream all over the world. Which one of these would you book a plane ticket for?